ओम शांति ओम शांति अच्छा फिर सबने ने बोला ओम शांति नॉट एवरीबॉडी सेड ओम शांति सो अभी क्या बोलेंगे नाउ दैट इज व्हाट शुड वी से मेरा बाबा क्या सब गूंज गया मेरा बाबा आई विल डम से वेरी स्ट्रांगली स्वीट बाबा माय बाबा बिलवेट बाबा शुक्रिया बाबा थैंक्स बाबा हम सारा दिन All day long, we just keep on saying Baba. I go to Daddy. How many times did Baba say Baba? Daddy goes there, continues to say Baba, Baba. After a long time, she offered Bog in an official capacity, and seeing Om Shanti Bhavan like this. And Baba had embraced everyone and given everyone a lot of love. Because of Pardadi, we all got a lot of love from Baba. Who will love us so much? As much as my Baba loves us in the whole Kalpa, even Lakshmi and Narayan will not give so much love to their children. Once I said to Baba. Now you stay with us in the confluence age, and there you will become Lakshmi and Narayan and sit there. But now you are our Baba. Now my Baba and then our Baba. Nobody else will say our Baba other than now. So every day Baba explains to us. They will become Lakshmi and Narayan in the golden age. But this Brahma Baba. It's very wonderful. Two days ago, Puttu Daddy left her body. This is also a wonder. Two days ago. And now we got this wonder. She was in the hospital for many years, and sitting there, she became a deity. Our stage should be like that. I'm always wondering what would be my memorial that I would leave behind. There was the memorial of Baba, of Didi, of Pardadi. We're seeing this with our own eyes now. What will be my memorial? Do you know what my eyes will be? Everybody knows. Remembrance. There is service contained within remembrance, but these days, in service, we forget remembrance. Those, put your hand up if you forget remembrance when you're doing service. Uh, tell honestly. Put your hands up. Daddy thinks everybody forgets remembrance in a service. There's lots of service. We know how to do service, but we don't know how to remain in remembrance. To remain in remembrance, which Baba said today, through your face and through your behavior, through your chit, it's very subtle. Your sense of self, the mind is a bit more gross than the chit, and the intellect is even more subtle than the mind, and the chit is more subtle than. And the intellect, anything that happens is imprinted on the chit. And once it's there, you're not able to have remembrance. So today, give this gift to Daddy in love. I saw in my whole life. We never would have uh, said something from somewhere and just talked about it somewhere else. Now people say you must accept to be daddy, but I don't accept. I'm just instrument because I like the student life. Is the best. Is the best. Healthy, wealthy, happy. And we can be healthy, wealthy, and happy. You all understand English: healthy, wealthy, and happy. Healthy means uh, 
not uh, that um, I have to fix the body, but because of things in the mind and the chit, it has a negative effect on the body if you hold things in your mind and chit. And people call it the settlement of karma. And Baba speaks about it every day in the Murli, that if you stay in remembrance, your negative karma will be destroyed. I think people are not concerned to maintain this remembrance to destroy the negative karma. It should be such remembrance that the negative karma dissolves. And in the Sakar Murli that I got today, take five or ten minutes to practice to be bodiless. But I say, my time is to remain detached whilst being in the body. And it's a very, very subtle thing. As much as you can remain detached from your um, body and bodily relations and very detached while performing service. <coughs> <coughs> Baba got us to do service, but he taught us to do it in a detached way. Being detached, Baba, um, Baba gave love. If you are not detached, you can't pull Baba's love. So if you understand this, put your hands up. Otherwise, if you're caught up in other things, any other souls or your own thoughts, your own ideas, if you're caught up in any of these things, you're not able to have remembrance. And so you have to free yourself from all of this. Whilst you are alive, free yourselves now from all the things that you get caught up in and distracted by and attracted by. I feel today when I was in Shakti Bhavan, um, Daddy used to go and say Janakaraj, and he, she would call um, Daddy Gulzar Gulgulabi. Nobody said this to me. She would call me Janak Raj with so much love. And when you get a lot of love from the seniors like this, some say, oh, they don't understand me. How can you imagine that the elders don't understand? You have so much arrogance of your own ideas. You think you are the one who understands, but in the olden times, it was not the way to run yourself. Um, now, what you say you want the seniors to understand, to accept and understand. I said to Shashi, we have to have uh, the picture, the new picture of the uh, ancestors with Kunj Dadi and um, uh, Nirmal Shanta Dadi. I look at the ancestors, I look at each and every one, and I can tell you all about each and every one of the ancestors. You hear about Brahma Baba and Mama, but you don't know all these ancestors in foreign countries when I went in 74 then in 75 or somewhere around that time I had gone to the Caribbean I met a brother and I started telling things about Baba but I didn't say much about Mama and he said to me why don't you talk about Mama so I said, Mama is the one who is giving us the sustenance. And uh, he had a very good experience. And he is the one who wrote this book called Thought for the Day. His intellect would work on the churning of the knowledge and how to receive happiness through uh, working with the seeds of knowledge. A person like this uh, can never be forgotten in one's life. And so Baba says, 
in two words or in one word, make clear the knowledge of the seed and the tree. Then Baba was explaining about the tree. He said that seed is below the tree, but this one, Baba Shi Baba, is above. And now Baba said, remember the father and the home. Whatever is the father's home is my home. So have these things going on in your mind. Be very concerned about the details of the knowledge rather than things that you get distracted by. Now we must prepare to go home. Previously they used to play the song of Om Shanti, but now we play, now we have to go home. That's the song. So if you have to go home, you say, okay, now we already stay in the home. What are we doing down here? What do we do? I don't have any work to do down here on this earth. Do you have any work down here? I am sitting completely free and I'm looking. I say to Baba and I also say to Daddy Gulzar, so now Daddy uh, Nirmal Shanta has gone, what am I doing down here? We have such chit chat with Daddy Gulzar. And so she takes Toli from me, I give her Toli. And she remembered Daddy Ratan Mohini a lot. She gave so much love. The love that we have amongst each other is so beautiful. See? When we smile at each other. You don't know how to smile, then you'll experience everything to be difficult. It's a word play, muskurana is to smile and muskilat is difficult. So this is all natural. Uh, if something didn't work out, okay, it doesn't matter, never mind. It's a very simple things. Because we are uh, moving along on the pilgrimage of our lives, we are constantly on a pilgrimage. We're going, we're leaving, we're not looking back. Uh, but definitely you can't go anywhere else this is the only place there's no other road to go on and this is why we don't just have to be walking along we have to run but sometimes you get tired by running if you get a bit of tiredness then you'll get held back. You'll say, oh, I'm so tired. And if anybody says that they're tired, then I say, oh, this poor thing, they're in trouble. It's not a matter of now. Old, an old, old story in Sindhi. If anybody says that somebody is a poor thing, Mama explained to us and she corrected us saying this word should not emerge from your mouth that you call somebody poor uh, because otherwise that would be like a, like a goat, uh, an unfortunate um, person. So somebody gets afraid easily. Suppose somebody like a goat would uh, get um, slaughtered and eaten. Now, no, who are we? We are Shiv Shakti Pandav army. Nobody can cut us and eat us. We should have so much intoxication. And then there would be the stage of being without obstacles, service without obstacles, and your service is without obstacles when your stage is one that destroys obstacles. One is those who put in obstacles. The other is those who are afraid of obstacles. And the third are those who destroy obstacles. So which kind am I? Once not sure where it was, I was doing a class of who am I. 
Am I one who puts obstacles in the yagya, gets afraid of obstacles, or a destroyer of obstacles? So even now I'm doing that service of destroying obstacles. And in this gathering, such a gathering, when I'm seeing everyone, I feel that each one Baba says, if uh, any mistake has happened, for the first time you speak about it and empty it out, because my Baba is so merciful. that he um, forgives our um, mistakes and he destroys our negative karma so that we can become karmatit and the destroyer of negative karma complete and perfect it's because to take the kingdom of the golden age is what we're here for and so we creating that fortune from now it's God the creator of fortune and my fortune these two things so now what are we doing what service are we doing this is actually our fortune to do service, to sit in Om Shanti Bhavan, to sit in Madhuban. If you have value for Madhuban, but if you say, no, I've got work to do, so I'm going, okay, go. You don't have any work to do. Any, anyone can do it. But you have to do service in such a way that Baba would be happy. Daddy Gulzar gave a beautiful message. You have made Baba your companion. As a detached observer, you are playing your role. This is my great good fortune. Baba is my companion. And this is a very beautiful experience to have. Baba is with me, and I am a detached observer. Now you can see, just in one or two minutes, just feel this companionship of Baba. And I am a detached observer. And then see the whole gathering. I said to Rukmani Ben, you should not leave. She can't go. So the tears would never emerge from the eyes. The sanskaras are um, being filled now. Each scene of drama is predetermined and so we are watching it as detached observers and we are playing Baba had spoken of the knowledge of drama and the actors of a drama they don't look at the actors if they look at the other actors they'll forget their own part what do I have to do they'll forget because they'll see the others and they'll wonder what to do. So first, Baba used to explain this to us. You're on stage. There are lots of different actors acting, coming and going, and if you look at them, then what will I do? It's a very, very subtle thing. My creator and director is behind me watching how I perform and seeing my actions. <laughs> Therefore, the subtle form of effort, Shashi Ben told me to do class today. I don't do class. I don't know how to teach a class. Marik 
You know me from so many years, but many, many know who is seeing me for the first time today. Put your hands up. So you know that I don't know how to teach class, but my heart desires, just as Daddy Gulzar was saying in the message, Baba has this desire that we should become like Baba. It's very good. In order to become like Baba, we have to keep Baba in front of us and look at him. We have to become free from ego and attachment. And I said to Daddy Golzar, I said, this time in this week, wherever there is Baba's room, I go, I went and I sat there. I had a very, very nice experience. Baba's way of looking at us um, makes us fully aware that the soul, he, he's talking to the soul. Though the soul is sitting in the body, Baba is addressing the soul. Baba says, I am talking to an embodied soul. Hey, soul. You are mine. We have to go home now. And then we have to come to the world of happiness. And the soul says, yes, Baba, yes. We liked it very much. Baba was telling the Murli and I would be nodding after an hour, yes, just as you are sitting. Who else is sitting like this? The best method, Baba says, is the Murli. Baba's Murli. You listen to the Murli and you speak the Murli through your mouth, but that's not what it's for, just to repeat. Baba said, through the ears, just like the important people get their food checked, you are receiving the food for thought, and so check and build your strength through that, because it is this that moves you forward, that runs you. It's not that you will just work with yesterday's morley, but each and every day there is fresh food. Though you will eat it one time, but you need to know how to digest it. That is a power of digesting. For that you need to think about it, to go into the depth of it, to cogitate upon it, to go into the depth and then to contemplate. And if you want to come into the um, rosary, then you have to contemplate the knowledge and draw power from it. It is very wonderful. Without contemplating upon the knowledge, nothing will go deeply into you, but waste thoughts will emerge, and then there will be waste words and waste action, thoughts, words, and actions will be what? What will they make me into? In Baba's days, sometimes somebody became depressed. Mm. Occasionally. So then Baba would say, oh, these depressed people will all become servants. If there is heaviness in your feelings, you feel heavy in your heart, 
जैसे कोई क्या है If there is a child like that, they make small things into huge mountains. And there are others who make huge issues into tiny little mustard seeds. So Baba wants this kind of child who can consider big things to be nothing. Baba is there and practically Baba has created this whole creation and sustained it. Baba is the sustainer and also the teacher. We have to look at our attainments and amongst each other. See, with how much love we work together, there shouldn't be anyone that we say, okay, no, we'll leave this one behind or disregard this one or we can't live with this one. If you say such things, then nobody will be able to live with you and you won't be able to live with anyone. But where will you go? And when you leave your body, you'll remember those things. So you have to prepare to leave the body in a good way. I prepare myself to leave this body each and every day. Morning and evening, I prepare. Why? Because I don't have any other work. Baba has talked to us about the subtle regions, the soul world and the physical world. Before going to the soul world, I want to stay in the subtle regions with Baba. And just instrumentally, I'm here in the physical world. Now time is finished, but in Gyan Sarovar, I had a class about being just the detached observer, the instrument. Maybe just on one point, I was talking for 45 minutes. What is the meaning of being the instrument or just instrumentally have one full power, one support, just have a firm determination? Do you understand? The different fingers are, show, are having different sizes. The thumb is the big one, and it's the um, symbol of determination. And so how is um, success achieved is when the two come together. So the finger shows God, the thumb shows your determination, you bring them together and make it happen. So today we, when somebody leaves their body, normally they cry, but we don't cry because we just simply um, sing the songs of praise of Baba and so we have to become such images we have to do such work Nancy do you agree with this is this right if you all agree with this put your hands up this is my feeling for all of you my wish for all of you okay